Hey, we're back. This is Jonathan Katz, the guy who likes to say, Hey, we're back. I don't get it either. Hey, before we do anything else, I'm trying to get in touch with a friend of mine who's living in Florida. Uh, he has not been feeling well, and I promised I would call today. City and listing, please. In Fort Lauderdale? Um, operator, do you have a listing for Jokers? The comedy club? No, the uh, the hospice? No, sir. I'm sorry. Under the name Jokers, the only listing I show is for a comedy club. Uh, what about Jokeland or just joking? Sir, I show no hospices with the word joke, jokers, or joking in the name. Nothing under funny bone? Hey, today we're going to meet two guys who opened up a venison-only restaurant in Midtown Manhattan. They're doing great now. But for a while, they had to deal with people's preconceived notions about venison. Yeah. And they don't want to, let's say, eat Bambi. I remind the diners that Walt Disney was anti-Semitic. And that tends to do the trick. We have a way of splitting up the work between us, which has worked perfectly for us. And I recommend it to a lot of teams where I do most of the creative and the other work as well. I'm a one-man support system as well. He supports me. I'm able to take what Tom does with deer meat. And well, it's got to be fun. I mean, if when you kill as much deer as we do and cook it, oh, it's been overwhelming. Really um, overwhelming. I know two people who are, you know, kicking themselves right now, and, and those are our wives. Because I don't think it's any secret, both our wives left us. Uh, yeah, they, they they thought we were really nuts at one point. When you go into a bank right. or some financial institution and say, "Could you give us three million dollars to open a deer restaurant?" You're going to meet with some resistance, especially in this economy. I would bet dollar to donuts that there is nowhere else in this country to get this quality venison on a regular right. basis in a nice environment. Venison is a meat that it's challenging you to charge for it. It goes bad very, very quickly, and it goes right. bad quite often just after it's served. There's so many deer on Long Island now that we just get in our, our cars and drive around and hit them. Not just Long Island. It's the coastal part of New Jersey. It's Yeah. We, we're, we're providing a service by thinning the herd. Again, legal is a word. When I talk about shooting them. Legal is such a loaded word. The government looks the other way. The hunting season is very much like the TV season now, where, there, where there's no real fall schedule. Because of cable. Yes. You know, you know the expression, like, like a deer in the headlights? That's the moment that you want to actually kill the deer because... And that is also a dish, deer in the headlights, which is, it's cut very, very thin. And we, you know, people will say about a dog, he smells your fear. What people don't know is that they can taste fear and it's delicious. It's wonderful. And we can all taste fear. Okay, it's nap time. But I'm not going to nap. I'm going to make another phone call. This is, this is what I do instead of coffee. In Oise. I'm sorry, sir. What city did you say? Oise. Uh, is this Idaho information? Yes, it is, sir. Yes, in Oise. Sir, are you saying Boise? Uh, no, though, I'm glad you are, because I can't pronounce that letter. No one in my family can. And what listing, sir? Uh, do you have a listing operator for a Karen Lack? I don't see anything for a first name Karen, last name Lack. How are you spelling that, sir? I like the color. Hold for the number, please. I am a compulsive comedian. It doesn't matter where I am, who I'm with. Today it's a root canal. Yep, okay. This see? It's just a teeny little pinch. That's the weird it. thing is I usually don't mind the dentist. For me it's just an excuse to shut off my cell phone for an hour and kinda relax. You know the last time I was here there was a woman in the waiting room with two seeing eye dogs. I said, Look, it's none of my business, but why two? She said one was for reading. Is that funny? That's a horrible joke. That's, that's, that's kind of brutal, isn't it? How about if you said it just doesn't work for you? I could live with that. Uh, well, I, I have to do the drilling soon. How about just one more? Um, My aunt died last week. She, she was cremated, and we think that's what did it. Um, I'm not sure whether, you know, this is really helpful. Uh, Dr. Palmer, this was your idea. This, I, I'm not here. What are you talking about? Well, I got a message from your office I'm inviting me to come in and do five minutes. Well, uh, I... I Mr. Katz, I'm not here to be an audience. I'm here to be a dentist, you know, and I want to be the best dentist I can be. I think you are. Well, that's very nice. I mean, we're a very nice lot, but um, maybe, be that as it may, uh, 
uh, you know, I, I, I've got to uh, put the drill on now. Well, I understand that. You, you need to do what you need to do, but oh, should I leave an invoice with the front desk? I'm, I'm not sure how you handle this kind of thing. What invoice? I, we didn't do any work on you. No, this is this is for the comedy I just performed. I, I'm, I'm accustomed to being paid for the work I do. No, uh, <laughs> Mr. Katz, with all due respect, um, your jokes um, really weren't befitting a dentist's office. Well, again, I have to remind you, Dr. Palmer, I've done these jokes on television, in nightclubs, and my orthopedist enjoys them enormously. I used to like to stay at home and organize my shoes. I, I have an intern who calls me. Every night, they tell me that I got to pay my A due. phlebotomist. I have two phlebotomists. Like I've changed my style. I have another dentist. Hey, we're back is brought to you by Albion Productions. Previous episodes can be seen on the web at jonathancats.com.